Alrighty, welcome to Atlas. We've been waiting for this game for a long, long time. I have been waiting for this game for a long time. It was supposed to be out on the uh, 13th of December, I believe, and then it got moved by a week because it wasn't ready, and then it got moved by a day because it wasn't working, and then it got moved by hours and hours and hours and hours, and finally it released somewhere around the 22nd. I think I was able to log on on the 23rd, and I was standing here, and technically I was running around the whole freaking island I'm on and I got rubber banded back to this position after even 10 minutes of running around and <laughs> nothing was working. So yeah, it took a while. Official servers were a no-go to play on um, because everybody tried to connect and nobody could. Something like that. Um, so we now finally have our own very first private server and you can't see shit. That's great. That's better. A little. Looks weird, but you know, gamma. It's all burning over there. Supposedly that's the corner of the world. Yeah. So, what is... What is Atlas? I'm, I'm a little bit burnt. I've been standing here for a while waiting for you guys. Mm. Well, what is Atlas? Atlas is a game where you have a <laughs> level up and you need to access your inventory to do so. That looks familiar, right? If you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved, that looks definitely familiar. Hey, Haki! How are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing up at this time? It's... A, it's barely past lunchtime. Ah, well. Anyway, the, uh, this server, private server, crazy folk server, as usual, has some heightened settings, and we might have some level ups available just from standing around here, so let's have a look. If you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved or Dark and Light, this looks familiar, right? Um, there's even a video on YouTube where somebody in this menu pressed some sort of button combination and got an Ark menu that actually said Ark on pretty much every button. So yeah, this is an ARC clone of sorts, but it's um, further developed than ARC. It's an MMORPG, should be, it has a skill tree that ARC doesn't have. You know, in ARC it's just engrams, you level up, you get to level 5, you unlock 20 engrams. In here, you actually have to pick what you want to have, and as you can see, most of the stuff is locked, and then there are stuff, things, skills, like this, that say, uh, unlocks a thing. And that unlocks one of these categories, and you can then uh, look into that and progress further. So we're going to do that. We have heightened settings. <laughs> I have 97 XP. I needed 6. <laughs> we also have increased stats, so it's uh, times 5, I believe. So usually you would get 10 weight here. We get 50. It's good, right? I mean, we're doing this to show you what this game can do. Not to show you what official servers looks like. Basically, everything we're going to do today and in the upcoming weeks... You can do that on official servers, you just need to take about five times as long. Hmm. Alright, let's get started. So we do have some more weight now. I'm not going to care about the skills just yet, we're going to hop into that in a little. I also have some nice armor set here. Um, that's actually skins you can buy here in town. I just got that gifted, but you know, don't, don't worry about it. So what do we have? We have a crew recruiter. Over there is a raft builder. Over here is a teleport man. Yup. I'm going to use that first. We are... No, no, no. Just there. Ferryman East. So we're on the east part of the map. Now what does that mean? Press M, get your map. That's our little island. If you use numpad plus minus, you can zoom in and zoom out. This right here is one map grid. And as you can see, we're on the east part. That's what that guy told us. There's three islands here. There's east, there's west, and there's north. And basically what that means is there's an island here somewhere, and there's an island here somewhere. There could be an island here, but as you can see, there's another thing there, and there's some stuff, and there's some stuff. We don't have that discovered yet. We don't know what it is. You always get these, these tips up here whenever you do something. So if you look at something, if you open... I don't know, a special menu, if you hold a tool, it tells you what you can do, so you read it, it's, it's good. Like, there's stuff in here like, hold left control you to use the build and camera functionality. Like, it's cool, right? I like it. Hey, you. <laughs> left click. Alright, so, first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna explore the other islands. It's pretty easy, since we're here already. Uh, this is... Uh, a free port map. There's three different types of maps you can have. You can have free port, you can have uh, lawless, and you can have the thing in between. Haven't been there yet. Um, as you 
have seen by looking on this map, this this right here, this is one server. One of these maps is one server. Now, if you go into your your uh, menu here and look at it this way, this 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 grid, this is one server. This looks weird with the water in the background. Anyway, you can toggle the world grid. You can't see much here because you only have one server. If you're an official server, you can zoom out way further. It's like a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 grid. Each of these map tiles is one server. Each of these map tiles is one region. So, we only have one server, we're stuck here. If you're unofficial, you can travel from, like, A1, which we are at, this is A1, all the way down. You know how maps work, right? You know how grids work. So, yeah, that's how that works. Um, this guy here will allow us to travel to all the other free ports that we have, so let's do that. Let's go north. I have a level up. Surprise. From not doing anything, but talking to you guys. <laughs> You already played Sea of Thieves. Yeah, that's different. It's nice, but it's different. Alright. Next area. Very good. And west. And then we go back to east, because that's where the rest of the crazy folks are. Mm, this is so nice and fast. I did press M. Do something. This is so much more nice and fast. There we go. A little bit more light on the map there. That's the islands we have discovered so far. Now, why do they look a little different? One is more shady, one is not. Well, on one island we have people running around, which is one on the right, the east one. And uh, on one island we have people running around, which is the one on the left, which is me. And the one in the middle, there's nobody there. So that's kind of fog of war shrouded. Uh, yeah, you can't really see any developments there. So we could now go build a raft and just sail over there and explore more parts of the map. But we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. Sailing is dangerous. We need more weight. Uh, interesting to see that oxygen, food and water cannot be uh, increased. You cannot put stat points in there. They have stuff in the skill tree to increase your swim speed and um, your, your decrease your food depletion and all that stuff. It's up to you to spend points on that. Mm -hmm. Alright, we wanted to go back to East, right? That guy. Hello, here we are. No, I hope we're at the right spot. <laughs> we'll have to see. Looks like it, there's a campfire here. That's a crazy folks campfire. There's food in here because people forgot their food in here. Alright. So what do you do first thing when you get on? Well, if it's an official server, you run around the island. You go to the ferryman, ship over to another island, run around the island. And repeat that step until you find a place where you can actually um, put down your claim flag, which you get by pressing F1. It's this thing. Place claim flag. Now, these claim flags do have a radius, and you can kind of see that in the trees in the back there. There is uh, the, the blue line. That's what it's supposed to be. And you can see it on the water as well, if you look closely. As soon as my feet hit the ground, there is a line right here. That's the radius of your claim flag. There you go. Um, if you build too close, or if you put that down too close to an already existing claim flag, it will tell you you can't do that. If you put it in the territory of an existing claim flag, you're contesting that territory. If you put that down in somebody other than you or your company, tribe, guild, call it what you like, it's a company in this game, uh, steps into that area, into that circle, it's contested. And how this works is you put it down. You put it down here? Yeah, let's put it down here. And then you have a timer down there telling you you have to wait for 10 minutes. Now, heightened settings, that's not 10 minutes, right? <laughs> that's more like 15 seconds. Every time somebody steps into the circle, there's also there's, there's a folder you need to open for your downloads, it seems. Default icon set? Really? Okay. Can you tame pets? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Like that parrot over there. Or the monkeys that are running around here. Even that guy. Mm-hmm. Hi. They require skill. Taming tier 2. To feed for taming. Thank you for holding still. <laughs> if I had a weapon, I would have punched him. <laughs> 
Anyway, yeah, we're getting into that as well. So now we have placed the claim flag. Um, the claim is successful, as you can see, claimed. This is now my personal property, this area. You can press H and hold it, and it will show you now a green outline of your area. That, that's a weird outline. Anyway, you can see it, right? Going around some parts of it. I think if we get closer to... That's the wrong button. If we get closer to uh, the corner, you will be able to see the line quite perfectly. Go out of my way. There it is. Right there. Out of territory, in territory. Out of territory, in territory. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so within this territory, you can build a base. You cannot do that in a Freeport region without putting down your claim flag. Now, in a lawless region where there's no Freeports, um, you don't need a claim flag. You can just build. But pretty much everybody can just come and destroy that. That's the difference. As soon as this is claimed, it's yours, nobody can do stuff. That's as far as I understand it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tear this down, we don't really need it. There's a territory message that you can set, like, I don't know, blah. And now you get a broadcast message. Whenever you pass that border, you get this. So you can put in there whatever, don't be offensive. Um, but you can basically put in there whatever you want. Now demolish this. Whoop. Unclaimed territory, add longitude, latitude, whatever, server, map grid, A1. Nice. Good. So what else is there to do? Now that we've logged in and basically we are level zero and we don't have stuff. Um, hmm. If you've ever played ARC, you will find your way. No problem. It's pretty much the same. There's one added difficulty and that's this thing over here. That's your vitamin meter. As you can see when I hold H, it says in the bottom right there, uh, your vitamins are balanced. I'm in a vitamin equi equilibrium. Equilibrium. I get a vitamin equilibrium boost, which means I get better XP gain and all that stuff because all my vitamins are balanced. As you can see, there's four bars, vitamin A, B, C, D, just for short, I guess that's what we're going to call them. And as you can see, my hot bar, I do have meat right there, and it has this, is that purple? I'm, when I'm looking in the camera, I'm looking in the light, so afterwards I get this, these light spots. <laughs> oh, is that purple? Yeah, that is purple, probably. I think that's that bar. So once we eat one of these, you will see the, this bar going up. If your vitamins deplete too low, to a, to a very um, <laughs> low fuel level, <laughs> uh, you get debuffs. So it could be that you start shaking, it could be that your vision goes blurry, all that stuff. You need to refill those. If you overeat your hunger, if that goes up, like, yeah, food, if that goes up to 100 and you keep eating because you need to re refill your vitamins, you're overeating, you're hurting yourself. That's basically the same as starving in ARC or Dark and Light would be. It's bad. It's really bad. So playing around with custom settings here, like uh, not getting hungry that often, is actually not a good idea because your vitamins still deplete. We haven't figured out which setting that is yet. <laughs> Uh, I guess you could still just go admin, god mode, and infinite stats, and then it's no problem, but on official server, obviously, you can. Now, how do we get the other vitamins? Well, this right here, if you press H, whenever I'm looking at a resource, it will tell you what it is. This is a rice plant. It will give you wild rice. Let's get one of these. Ah, this is yellow. So, if I want to do this right, you go here. You go here. Yellow, purple. These two. Now we need the other ones. I believe one part can be found right here. For example, yup, that's orange. And the one missing is in here, <laughs> if you ever find fish. Yup, there is quite a few. Alright. So you need to hunt fish to get uh, the blue vitamin, the vitamin D. We're just going to call it that. I don't know if that's correct, and pretty much every doctor will hate me now, but it's A, B, C, D. I could also call it vitamins 1 through 4. That's even more annoying. All right. So what are you going to do when you start here? Well, obviously, you're just going to run around, press E, gather fibers, and all that stuff. In ARC, you will start punching a tree. You don't have to do that here. You can. It works. So you can go here and say, hmm, and you get to thatch, and if you do it again, you get a wood, 
And this looks like berries, so you're just gonna come here and you press E, and yes, you get whatever. Pazzarola looks like an apple. Uh, there are some, some around here, some bushes, these. If you harvest these, just by pressing E, you get thatch of wood. Not much, again, official rates, you would usually get two thatch, one wood, but there's a lot of those around, and you only need a handful to make your first tools. Now, we can't do tools yet. There's nothing here in the crafting room. That's because we haven't unlocked any. We have four levels, that's 40 skill points. On official, that would be eight skill points, two per level. And as you can see, you start out with this costs one, this costs one, this costs eight. And you will see as soon as we progress through these, it will get really expensive. Alright, we want the basics. It gives us a hatchet, a stone pick, and all that stuff. We want the spear, which is here. Why, why does that pop up up there? Weird. Um, you do want a water skin, because you can only drink fresh water, so you can't drink water from the sea. You need to find a fresh water source. Fresh water, there's two options. Let's get that covered first. That's three options. Four. Four that I'm aware of. <laughs> it's getting more. Uh, it, it sounds like a lot, it's not. So there's this statue over there. There's the town you spawn, there's that statue over there. That has a pond. You go there, you press E, you drink your water. That's fresh water. Option number two, you need to be in a green grassy area. You can uh, go prone, like this, and then left click. And you can dig for water, which, which gives you some sort of a mini game. You have, you have a bar going left and right, and you have to hit a spot in the middle. You have to stop that bar the moment it hits that spot, and you have to do that three or four times. That's the main mini game in this game, and you will get that a lot. And it's annoying. And I hope there will be a mod for that very soon where you just don't have to do that. Because it's annoying. It's a, you know, it's a survival game. It's not a survival simulator game. Right? You want to have some fun and not just... I want a survival simulator. I play, I play something else. Pick up some stones here. We drank some water. Everything's good. And now we're over here where I wanted to be. This is Crazy Fox territory. And as you can see... This server has been up for like an hour or two. Yeah, people have been doing stuff. We're still having issues with the server. It seems uh, at some stage the, the world got corrupted. We couldn't really do much. Uh, had to restart. This is basically my restart. Everybody else is already level, I don't know, 20 or so. But then they are doing things and they already know what to do. We've been playing this game for a week on official and um, private servers by people we don't know. <laughs> Just, you know, hop on there. It's not password. And uh, tried out a couple of things, so th these guys, they already know what to do. Yeah. I saw a tree falling in the background. Good. So, what are we going to do next? We were looking at the skills. Um, we were talking about water, right? So we had fresh water, we had the mini game. then there's water barrels you can craft, and wait for the rain, and they fill up in the rain. Rain is option number four, you just wait for the rain, and <laughs> as soon as it rains, your water fills up. And I guess there's uh, crop plot, irrigation, and stuff like that. That might also work because it's... Uh... <laughs> I know, thank you. Wait, look at me. Hmm. It's not colored yet. I think there's one red region that I died. The rest is default. We're going to do that at some stage. Um, so, yeah, that, that is water. So we've covered water and food. It's good, right? We're making progress. It's awesome. Mm, some of these resources do the same. Like, you see this this apple thing. It gives you orange vitamins, vitamin C. Is it? No. Yeah, it's vitamin C. Um, same as the berries. You will find more of that. Then you already know, as an arc, you have fiber, you have stone, you have thatch, you have wood. There's hide, and there's charcoal, and there's all that stuff. Some of these have an icon up here in the right corner that tells you this is a type of an item. Do we have any of those around here? Let's have a look. This right here, for example, sugarcane. Has this, this icon that looks like this, right? Sugar. Sugarcane is a resource type sugar. So whenever a recipe calls for sugar, you can use sugar or sugarcane. You get that a lot when you hunt animals, because you get hide, you get skin, you get feathers, you get hair. And it's all basically type here. It's all of type hide. That's a hide resource. It even says so in the tooltip, but it's leather. And then you have this, which is skin, which is also hide. Mm -hmm. Yup. So that's just something to remember. It's uh, on one side I like it. 
Because not every animal has the same type of skin, and to have that reflected in the game, that's cool. Uh, to still work as the same type of resource, yeah, that's cool. On the other hand, those things don't stack together. Each one is a different type of item, so if they don't stack, they need more space. Well, if it's just storage space, I think I can handle it, but <laughs> you know how it is, right? We're always pressed on space, always hard pressed. So, it's kind of 50 50 for me. Anyway, since we got the water sorted out and the food, we're not going to look at the skills. So this is probably how you start out, because there's nothing else you can do. You don't have anything else unlocked. This is the first ones you get. And uh, you now have access to all these things. You can search in here. Like, I can search for ship. And it will give me everything, every um, skill that has ship somewhere in there. Like, this has a ship cannon. Already sounds good. Uh, this has a dinghy ship hanger. Sure, why not? So that's when you search for skills. And you can search for craftables. I, I can go pick. And it tells me, yeah, pick. You have that unlocked. It's fine. That's pretty nice. I like that. Um, replacement for the old Ark Engrams. This is definitely good. So what are we going to want to do next? Technically, if you're level 2 now, th this is what you have. And maybe that's one after the next level up. And then you're already hard pressed on what to do because if you only get two points, uh, two skill points per level up, this is already two. That's one, two, three, that would be five. So you need to have three level ups. You need to have six skill points to get there. This unlocks construction and mercantilism, which is this one. Unlocked. Basics of building, thatch wall, handyman, storage box, paintbrush, good to have. Uh, there's a loom. It's a tannery. You're just going to go through here. Let me do that. You can also just go here and click, and it tells you, yeah, you need to, you know, have the prerequisites, the requirements first. And if you have the skill points, it will be able to do so for you. Secrets of building, this gives you all the wood stuff. And some other things. There's a wooden cliff platform in here, really? I just saw that. Where is it? That looks a lot like Ark. That's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. I wouldn't wonder if that's the same recipe, actually. That looks familiar. Anyway, cool. We can live with that. There's a campfire that looks like Ark. I mean, Ark already did a lot of things right. Why not copy, especially if you're the same company and development team, right? Uh, seamanship, we get there, we get there. We have so many points, I don't know what to do with it. Basic water swimming speed bonus, 15%. I told you you can't level up your oxygen, which in arc would increase your swimming speed. Over here you do it like this, and then you can go there. And as you can see by the arrow, this goes down here. It's another 45%. I don't think these stack. So this one is 15%. This one says 30%. It won't be 45. It will be this 30 then. And this one will give you 45. Otherwise, you would be at 90% now in total. I don't believe that's how it works. <clears throat> there are things like the vitamin depletion rate. I'm going to go for that pretty much immediately. I'm a cheater. I know. 30 skill points. Sure. Give me that stuff. And on the way, we unlocked cooking. Nice. You already have a cooking pot right behind me. You saw that already. That one. Let's make that. Uh, water barrel. Yes, please. Basic recipe. Some of these are needed. Like Kibble and Ark, if you want to tame uh, a parrot, for example, it needs hard tag, which is exactly this thing here. Hard tag. It's not in this list, it seems. Where's hard tag? There, hard tag. Am I pronouncing that right? I hope so. It's spelled hard tag. It's a cookie nobody wants to eat. <laughs> All right. A taming. Yeah, we get to taming. At some stage. I haven't tried it yet. I know how it works, in theory, but I haven't tried it yet. Okay, anything else we want to do right now? No, we just want to start playing the game. Alright. Um, gamma. Thank you. We're going to find a place a little away from our community center, where everybody's hanging out right now. And we're going to start building our own so you can see what that looks like. I do have all the stuff I need in terms of food. Let's eat some. Not much. Otherwise we're overfeeding ourselves. The water in this area is pretty shallow. 
<laughs> There's not much more I need to say about this, right? <laughs> I can walk, mostly. <laughs> um, I think I want to set up over there. Because that just looks cool. And it's out of the way, and we're not gonna... Um, not gonna make anybody mad. Is that the world border in the end there? That looks weird. You see that, right? That one strip on the horizon? Uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly hop into Discord. I'm already in there, just have to unmute myself. And I think Scott is there, so he might join in our conversation. Hello. Hello. See, there he is. Told you. Hey. So I'm just swimming around. Did some basics here. Cool. So I'm gonna set up my, my claim flag on the island in front of the island. I found the Easter Islands. There's stone hats here. Ah. It's <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> cool. So what are you up to? Uh, trying to get that scooter built. Oh, yeah, you're building your ship. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to that at some stage. <laughs> I need to get the basics covered first, but we're going to get there. Oh, come on, swim. I do need to take swim speed. Wait. Skills. Basics. Swimming speed bonus. More swimming speed bonus. All the swimming speed bonus. 11 points. Sure, I have exactly 11 points. I had exactly 11 points. Hello, escape. Thank you. How fast am I now? Well, it's better. I have a level up. I have more points. Great. <laughs> Here we are! We should be getting some. Mm -hmm. So, folks, as you can see from up here, there's shallow water, which is the, the lightly colored area, and there's deep water, which is the darker color. You know, real life. Hooray! Um, let's see if we can put our flag down here somewhere. Uh, why is it Freby now? I don't know. Maybe it has to load all the waves. Flame flag! Oh, this is my territory, it seems. Come as the island, that's good. Not the biggest claimed territory. You need to put a shipyard down at some stage, and for that you need to have connection on one side to shallow water slash land, and on the other side to deep water, the deeper the better. You need to find the balance there to be able to place that shipyard. That's a bit of a minigame in itself, but I think with this, yeah, you can see the green outline barely. Uh, we should be able to just place a shipyard right here, so that's good. I don't even know if you can build on these rocks, that would be cool to see. And have our garden over here, <laughs> where there's actually some greenery. Let's see if we can harvest any of that, or if that's just ground clutter. I harvested spoiled cooked meat. That is not how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we get some berries, that's okay. There's nothing else here. There's no fiber. There's no wood. Stones. Which means there's flint. And the occasional metal. But that's it. So. Oh, I see you out there. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm jumping and waving. <laughs> Yay! I'm over here! I'm stranded! That's just stuff. Yep. Okay. You are. See you later. I'm yeah. How it turns out. Well, I can walk over to you. Just <laughs> straight over there. No problem. Okay, let's see if I get a bit of a vantage point here. Oh, that was. Scroll wheel, right. Bit of a vantage point here. I want to see. If there's a walkable area. This seems to be getting deeper if I just would walk over straight to you. So I guess I can see the piece of land there, that land bridge type deal. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do that. So I guess we need to start doing things. And to start doing things, we need uh, tools, right? Do we have any any equipment? We have some stone, we have some fiber, we have some thatch and some wood. I can make a stone pick. 
And level of weight. Always good. And there it is. Now you can see the hotbar flashing when I try to drag this onto the hotbar, which basically means you can put that anywhere. Uh, it's a bit of an issue once you make the spear. I'm going to show you that as soon as I can hold this tool. Whenever you put something on, a tool on your hotbar, armor on your body, you have a countdown timer. With a bow and arrow it's 10 seconds. And that's really annoying. You put that on, you can't use it. You just sit there for 10 seconds until you can use it. There's some flint. Now we need to be able to make a stone hatchet. We need to be able to... Yeah, kind of right. And some spears. And then we're out of things. There's that. And use a campfire. Always good to have a campfire. Hello. Here, you brought me a fish. To, uh, house warming house warming person. Yeah. Let's put that over here. Uh, I'm gonna use the hatchet on that one. I'm not getting anything, so crouch down. <laughs> Fish oil! Nice! We can use that relatively soon. Some fish meat, some skin. Skin chip required. Let's put that in there. And as you can see, that's blue. I wouldn't want to eat it though, because it's not cooked. You know, not cooked meat is bad. Fish oil has an oil icon up here, so that's of the type oil. I haven't seen any other oil yet, but supposedly there is. Alright, I'm going to show you that in a second. Let's light the fire. Let's get some fish cooking. Oh, wow. Well, this one I can harvest right here. Don't need to crouch. <laughs> I actually found one in the right size. That's more like it. Let's put that in there. Cool. So, spear. Equipping a spear. Can I unstack these? Yes. So, I can place that everywhere, right? So I'm going to place it in my number 4 slot. 10 second timer. If I want to place another one, you can see only the number 4 slot lights up. That would be the same even if I had a sword or bow or whatever in my uh, mouse claws right now. Um, as soon as you have one weapon in your hotbar, that's the only slot where you can put another weapon in. So you can only have one weapon at a time in your hotbar. And that is annoying. I snack them? Yes, I can. That's one of the things I really, really don't like. So, you go here, and now, as you can see, we have all the four food types on the hotbar, and whenever the vitamins deplete, we can handle that. Actually, I do want to eat one of these fish. Good afternoon, Reto. How are you doing? I know you're running around here somewhere, doing your thing. Somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you on here. Alright, let's have that cook for a while, and I, I think we're going to run back to... Hmm, that's the shortest route, that's the route where we can walk. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. We need to get some resources, especially trees. A tree is a resource. Jump. Swim. A swimming animation is better than an art. Uh, you can press C if you want to go down. Let's go into a little deeper water here. It's not deep enough. I can't stick my head under the water. Okay, then we don't. Who cares? But yeah, you can press C if you want to go down. You have a, some sort of buoyancy. You go back up if you don't do that. <laughs> so it's a bit of a thing. Hey, there's, there's, a, there's a bottle. Treasure map. Doop. Treasure maps are an interesting thing. We're going to have a look at that right now because we have one. So they come in different qualities. This is a common treasure map, and what you do is you put that on your hotbar, or you just press E, and then it opens. And as you can see, with Gamma 3, haha, <laughs> that rhymes, uh, it gives you a part of some sort of island. Now if we zoom out, plus minus, on the numpad, that's too far zoomed out, I can't, can't tell. Is there any part that looks like this piece that we are holding? Also, this might be rotated. The map is always facing north. Um, the treasure map is not. So this this could be anything. It looks like the outline of uh, one of the islands, but it doesn't tell you specifically which one it is. It could be the one on the very left there. 
Anyway, you need a shovel, and as soon as you have a shovel and this treasure map, you can go to where the treasure is and you can unbury it. And if you look at the tooltip of the map, it tells you treasure contains at least 324 gold. Now, the gold you can use in town with a cosmetics vendor to get these lovely skins, for example. Or to buy crew for your raft and things. That's M. That's Q. Put stuff away. Thank you. Alright, but we're going to get to that at some stage. Probably not even today. It's a little further down the road. When we have a boat and things. Alright, so for those of you who do not find a spot to claim, because even those remote things are usually gone when you go on an official server, <laughs> it's, it's, it's claim territory everywhere. So, the other thing you can do if you want to start building, if you want to put down, um, not foundations, but crafting stations, for example, like a smithy, yeah, sounds like Ark, is Ark. Uh, before going to the gym, let's see how Bro is doing. Shrug, Bro is doing good. How are you doing? Um... Where was I? Train of thought. Right, so if you want to put down crafting stations and you are in one of these areas, you can't just put them down anyway, you need claim territory. The only other claim territory you will ever going to get is a raft. So what you need is enough resources, go into town, and uh, at, at the end of that pier there is the, well, the raft vendor, or the raft smith, or whatever it's called, and you can buy yourself a raft. He is basically just a crafting station. And on that, you can place down whatever you like. Until the raft is full, oh boy, right? Okay. We're not going to do that here, just now, because we already have our territory, and there's nobody else to come on this server, so we can claim whatever we want. It's really nice. Um, for now, we're just going to get some resources. And that's why I leveled up weight, so we can take a bunch of resources and bring them over there. Yeah, these gathering raids, don't expect them on the fisher. Not at all. A fifth of that. If that. This is 200 wood, one tree, and on official we get, what, 18, 20 if you're lucky, Scott? Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. I think so. This right here is metal. Pure copper. It's interesting to see, though, that, like, hide and skin have subtypes, but metal is just metal. Even though the tooltip says this is copper, and I'm, I'm encumbered. Dang it. <laughs> Too much metal. I'm so metal. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> 478. What are we going to drop? That and that. Don't need. I can get flint at home. I can get stone on that island. I think that's good. Nope. It's still not good. <laughs> can I have a level up, please? Need more weight. <laughs> Don't have enough thatch, so we need to get some of that as well. You know what? Let's unstack this. And let's just drop some. There you go. Now we should be good. Give me some thatch. Thatcherino. 100? Not enough. More! Thatch doesn't weigh much. Unless you have a full stack of 500. <laughs> that weighs done. There you go. 25. So a tenth of what you have is the weight. These right here is coal. So you don't have to burn wood necessarily, you just can find coal. That is Jolzodoni, whatever that is. Or however you pronounce that. Uh, right here. And as you can see, this looks like I don't have an ammo hopper anymore. Um, that's flint. So, yeah, if you desperately need flint, that's why you get pure flint. Uh, otherwise, just, you know, pickaxe on rocks and you get flint and stone and metal and all the other things. Usually you shouldn't be hard-pressed for any of that. Alright. I think that's what we can get from here. Up there, all the way up there, is crystal if you ever need it. You can make yourself a climbing pick and go up there. But that's gonna be down the road. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick break here, and I'm gonna be right back, and then we're gonna get into building, so watch that space.